Hi everybody, welcome back. Before I jump straight to the problem, I want to remind you of the free resources that I have. Number one, I have a guide named how to evaluate your education in the United States of America. Number two, another guide about shear moment diagram, which has a solved example and then a few examples that I have collected from various FE materials. If this sounds something that you might need, click the links below and you'll be able to download them for free. Now let's move on with our example. The steel beam shown in the figure below has its compression flange laterally braced at the one third point over its full length. Assume Fy equals 50 KSI and CB equals one for the critical segment. The maximum factor load that the beam can carry for this length is most nearly. So this problem can be solved in two different ways. I'm going to show you the easiest way that this problem can be solved, which is the, the way you should be focusing on, uh, on the FE exam. So let's um, go to the FE handbook and I'll show you a table where you can uh, find out the um, capacity uh, of this beam. But first of all, uh, let's acknowledge that we have a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load. And the moment for this beam, for a uniformly distributed load, simply supported beam equals to, so moment equals to W, U, L, in our case, L squared over, Eight. So from this equation, we need to calculate W, U, and we know the length of the beam, which is 30 feet, and we have to calculate the moment. Let's go to the FE handbook. We are on the civil engineering section, and I will keep going downwards to get to steel, design of steel components. And we're gonna go downward. There you go. This is the table named available moment VS embraced length. So we have the embraced length of the beam, which is uh, 10 feet, right? Because the total length of the beam is 30 feet and we have support at every uh, one third. So the Umbraced length is 10 feet. So what we do with this, we have 10 feet and we also know that the beam is W2157 is right here. So let me, let me see what's the easiest way. I will go down here and I will look, we have umbraced length and we have available moment. We can calculate or figure out the available moment phi uh, mn. So let's start by first uh, go to embrace length, which is 10 feet. And I will try, really try to draw a straight, straight line. Okay. And now let's go and find the beam, the 2157. And I'm seeing here, I have to keep moving upwards a little bit. So 2157, if you notice here, it's a little bit. It goes upper than where this squares intersect. So if I if I was to go here, right right at the line, 375, 390, and between every little square, we have three foot kips. So if I was right on the line, I would have 378. My moment, available moment would be 378, but I am a little bit up so we can take 379 or 380. So I'll, I'll go with 379. So available moment phi is 379. So phi mn equals 379 foot keep. We also know that phi mn to be greater or equal than mu. This is mu, everybody, let's just 
to this. So from here now, going back to this equation, I will calculate what the problem is asking us, the maximum factored load. And it's going to be eight MU over L squared. And this is going to be equal to 379 times eight over 30 squared. And I'm getting 336 hip per foot. And the correct answer is C, 336. That's it for today. It was not a complicated problem at all. If you have any questions about this problem, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.